Okay, now let's move on to the um, next topic. Okay, now this is a hub. Kanina, pinag-usapan natin kanina ay yung mga devices natin are connected through a common medium. Ang tawag natin is a bus topology. Tama? Pero, the, syempre, ang technology natin ay gumaganda. Ang technology natin ay nag advance So, instead of using a common medium, gumagamit na tayo ng isang device. Ang tawag natin sa device na to is a hub. Okay? Now, ang hub, basically, ang trabaho niya is to connect the devices. Okay? Connect natin yung mga devices natin into a central connectivity device. Ang tawag na natin doon is a hub. Now, ano ang kagandahan nito? Ang kagandahan nito, kung babalikan natin yung kanina, ang, ang problema doon sa bus topology na ginagamit natin, kapag ka yung cable natin na to ay naputol, for example, lahat sila will not see each other. Why? Kasi hindi na siya properly terminated. Imagine nyo ba yan? For example, we have this cable, this coaxial cable, naputol siya. Ano mangyari? Wala na siyang proper termination. So every time yung isang device, no? for example, this device mag-transmit, every time na magta-transmit siya, pagdating natin doon sa putol at nag-fail daw yung aking Kaspersky, fail to connect because I'm not connected to the internet right now. Anyway, kapag ka nag-transmit, sabi natin kanina, pag nag-transmit yung isang device and hindi siya properly terminated, what will happen? Yung signal natin ay babalik. At pagka bumalik yan, magkakaroon tayo ng collision with the original device. At pag nagkaroon ng collision, all devices, as we have said a while ago, will stop their transmission. Ganun din, doon sa kabilang side natin. Diba? So, eh, ibig sabihin, for example, this is PC 2, 3, and 4. If any one of them, not necessarily all, if any one of them mag-transmit ng data at yung signal tumawit, pagdating doon sa may failure, what will happen? Since this is not properly terminated, again, it will go back to the medium. And kung sino man yung nagtatransmit sa kanila, pwedeng magkaroon ng collision with this reflected signal. Okay? Kaya nga yung terminator is very important. Now, if you have a disconnected or uh, naputol yung connection natin, of course, this is not proper determinated. Magkakaroon tayo ng collision. Therefore, the whole network will not be anymore usable. That is what is the problem with the bus topology. Kaya, na-invento ngayon itong hub. Now, this hub is actually like a bus topology. Yun nga lang, syempre, meron ka ng central connectivity device. Ang kagandahan sa hub, kapag ka ito ay naputol, walang problema. All these three remaining computers can still communicate with each other. Pero itong naputol na to, syempre, wala na yan. Tama? Okay. Huwag lang sana na yung mismong hub ang mag-down. Kapag yung hub ang nag-down, of course, all four devices will not anymore uh, communicate with each other. Kasi sira na nga yung kanilang central connectivity device. Pero ang kagandahan lang dito, kapag na-isolate yung isa, okay lang. Yung tatlo, the remaining devices can still communicate with each other unless the hub fails. Okay? So, yun ang kagandahan sa hub. Ngayon, etong hub na to, Medyo parang ano rin siya, kapareho rin siya ng bus topology. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi ganito rin ang ginagawa niya. For example, if one device transmits, anong gagawin ni Hub? Ang gagawin ni Hub is ibobroadcast niya yan sa lahat ng device. Again, numerohan natin ito para hindi tayo masyado mali dito. No? So, say this is PC1, PC2, 3, and 4. Again, PC1 is the one transmitting. And ang intended recipient, for example, is 4. So, anong gagawin ni PC1? Yung recipient, o doon sa data niya, ilalagay niya na ang intended recipient is yung address ni 4. Pero ang gagawin ni Hub is ibobroadcast niya. Just like what we have learned with the bus topology. Yun nga lang, sino lang ang tatanggap? 
si 4 lang kasi yung address ng data ay yung mismong address niya. Si 3, since hindi niya address yun, yung data, drop niya. Si 4, since hindi niya address yung nandun sa data, drop niya rin yung data. Ang makakatanggap lang si 4. So, this is like yung bus topology. Yun nga lang, meron na tayong device. Ang advantage lang, if one connection fails, other connections will not be affected. Unlike with the bus topology. Okay, so hub is uh, robust in a way compared to bus topology. By the way, this topology is known as the star topology. Okay, so you, you know, whenever you use a a hub, may may example din tayo na ang ginagamit natin din ay o ang ginagamit natin ay switch, but still yun pa rin ay star topology. Pero pag ganito kasi ang connection, whether you use a hub or a switch, that is known as the star topology. Pero, para lang siyang, para imagine nyo lang na meron kang kable dun sa loob, tapos lahat sila nakakonect, and it looks like a bus topology. Tama? Yun lang ang kagandahan, ulitin ko ulit, pagka naputol yung isa, not all devices will be affected. Only the one, only the one with a failed connection will be affected. Pero sa bus topology, if one connection fails, all other devices fails. Hawa hawa sila. Pero sa star topology using a hub, that will not happen. All right. So that is a hub na, that uh, nag nagperform then ng broadcast. Okay. 